Pope Francis is calling for the immediate release of two bishops kidnapped by gunmen in Syria while on a humanitarian mission. The two were abducted as they travelled from the Turkish border to the city of Aleppo yesterday. Well, uh, let's get more with our BBC Arabic correspondent, Saeed Shahata, who's alongside me now. Now, you have interviewed one of these men recently, haven't you? Just explain who they are and how, how serious this is. I think one of them, Bishop Johanna Ibrahim, whom I interviewed a few days ago for 50 minutes, and he said something controversial, and he criticized both the regime and the opposition, and he talked about the immigration of Christians because he suffer uh, from the violence spreading in the country, and he told me like about 30% of Christian Aleppo already left, and 10,000 Armenians, 6,000 of, 6, of them left to Armenia, and 4,000 displaced inside. The other guy, he is a bishop of the Greek, of Greek Orthodox Church, Bishop uh, uh, Paul Siezak, Yazgi, and uh, yeah, both of them were in humanitarian uh, uh, mission, and uh, Bishop Johanna went to become up and like get quite well, but in his way back was intercepted by armed groups. No one knows exactly whom uh, whom they are. It might be Jabhat al Nusra Nusra Front, uh, or it might be somewhere else. But you know, it's still speculation who uh, got him. But uh, all fears is mainly is maybe Jabhat al Nusra or the Nusra Front is the one doing but, that. But would this have been an, uh, a, a sort of um, opportunistic? abduction just because they'd have been traveling in some sort of convoy perhaps or specifically because of these two men and, and the positions they hold i think it might be because of their position because uh, uh, he told me in the interview that christian are not targeted uh, uh, bishops were not like targeted like what happened in iraq because he told me exactly about iraq uh, churches were burned in mosul and like uh, bishop were beheaded by uh, extremists but in syria didn't happen it will not happen so he was like very uh, optimistic about what's happening in syria and he encouraged even the uh, christian to stay and not to leave the country even because he was optimistic that things was getting better. So I, I think it was intended, uh, but the other theory, it might be some people from uh, the Nostra Front who uh, don't know him, even who is known all over uh, Syria because of his, his humanitarian work and his TV appearance uh, on the uh, Syrian TV. Uh, but uh, you know, the problem is if there's something wrong happened to them, it might be lead to a scenario like Iraq after the fall of Saddam Hussein. So it will be sectarian violence against, you know, the Christians. So, so far, the hope is it's going to be released and the other bishop, so in this case, it can be a mistake or a symbolic action by some groups to say we are here and we should take, in, to, take us into consideration. So it's a very serious situation and it can make a shift in the whole crisis in Syria and it will not benefit anyone if something wrong happens to them. So I think and I hope they will be released by, uh, by, to, by tonight. All right. Saeed Shahata, thank you very much. Thank you.